people want to pray. I, I, I just want to get out of your way. And then you can come to the altar and talk to God, settle the new year with him, whichever way you want, at your own pleasure. Let me tell you, just give you a glimpse. I won't tell you the full details maybe until Friday night about what God is saying concerning the new year. For every individual Christian, particularly those of you who are members of Redeemed Christian Church of God, this is going to be a year of series of joy. The reason is, it's going to be a year of series of victories. Now, by implication, it means it will be a year of series of battles. But you will win. <laughs> and that is why he asked me to tell you in advance, the battle is not yours. <laughs> it will be victory after victory. Shouts of joy after shouts of joy. Let me just leave it like that. The others, particularly for those of you who are members of Redeemed Christian Church of God, your pastors will be telling you. On the international scene, and we are going to rope Nigeria together with the international scene, because there are some people who are waiting to hear what we say concerning Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria is part of the world, okay? The earth, this year, unless we pray very hard, is going to behave like a child that is having convulsion. Earthquakes in many places that it had never happened before. And that's one of the reasons you should pray for Nigeria. Volcanoes that have been dormant for years erupting. Hmm. If you look at the prophecy for 2019 for the international. I, I gave it to you as a Bible passage, two Bible passages. If you go through the two Bible passages, you will see fire, fire, and flood. Where the Lord says, whatever we have seen this year or last year, is nothing compared to what is coming. Except his children will pray so that his healing hand will be upon the nations of the world. And the reason is sin is becoming far, far more rampant than before. Things that in the past could not even be mentioned, is now being celebrated. And God is angry. But if we pray, and which is one of the reasons why we should evangelize rapidly, 
God will help. This year, there will be changes of governments all over the world, in many places. Some of the changes will be peaceful. Some will not be so peaceful. That's about all I can tell you for now. Uh, of course, you know we are going to fast. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will tell you that. I'll tell you more about that on Friday, since but you can see enjoy yourself for now. <laughs> The fasting is not going to begin until January 11. Uh, so, <laughs> so you can see, celebrate, and, and enjoy yourself. Now, it's one very important thing that Daddy said concerning those of you who are my children in particular. This new year, he will answer prayers. That is why I want to get out of your way. I want as many of you as want to come to the altar, to come to the altar, spend as much time as you want. I've already prayed for you now. Your future is settled. There will be shouts of joy. There will be many victories. The battle is not yours. He will answer prayers. Uh -huh. So, the altar is open. You come. Nobody is going to stop you. You pray till you are satisfied. And then you come.